I recently got back into Star Rail. I played the game at launch, but for one reason or another, I stopped playing the game until around the first anniversary. But I'm the kind of person who never really quits a gacha, so all that time I was actually logging in every once in a while to spend stamina and get some pulse without making my characters any stronger. This led to my world level being much higher than my character's strength, leading to some grueling fights. Seriously, Panicone was a disaster for me. But that struggle might have sparked something deep inside me. With my HSR account back to being viable, I knew I needed something to really push me to my limit. And I thought, maybe it was finally time for a permadeath challenge. Let's just get these rules out of the way. First, if a character dies, they're out of the party for good. Second, no overleveling. Third, this is a free-to-play account. I'm not gonna buy my way out of a bad situation. Fourth, no retreating. Fifth, if the trailblazer dies, the account dies. Got it? Cool. You probably already know her space station wouldn't be any issue, and I didn't have to take it seriously at all. The trampler you fight midway through the tutorial went down easily as expected. I knew that if anything was going to kill off a character, it would either be Doomsday Beast or the Elite. Okay, yeah. See, I, I remember you. Yeah, that guy killed me a lot my first time around. Just going off my first account, I remember Doomsday Beast being a big problem for me. And once again, it was easy. Wait, wrong game. Its blast attacks only tickled, and we had no problem breaking its weakness. After Doomsday Beast, we get Herta from Simulated Universe, and it's time to board the Astral Express. Board, we claim our mail and commence the gacha. Our first four star is Ting Yun. We all know how strong she is. Next, a four star light cone. Not a bad one either. Then a march dupe and two more underwhelming light cones. Now that I feel thoroughly scammed, we can go down to Yurilo 6. Meet the guy who created Hoyo vs. Gacha Rates, then unlock the Golden Calyx for some sweet, sweet XP. The fight with Japard is actually surprisingly rocky. He's just targeting March like he's trying to give her double amnesia. It gets to the point that I think she might actually go down, but thankfully you only need to get Japard to 30% health to continue. At Bellabog, while leveling my characters, I Kind of mess up. Oh, I... Hmm. I leveled up Asta higher than the next story boss, being Bronya at level 15. This means we have to bench her until we get to the underground. We leave that session there, lightly kicking ourselves over such a dumb mistake. It's been a few days since I've been on the account. Uh, Yoon Lee has come out, but I am more interested in Hua Hua. And nothing, which I kind of expected. But I mean, we'll see what four star we get. Maybe we get links. Anya, okay. So that's still a new character. Bronya tries to arrest us in front of our hotel, but we escape into a nearby alley. 
I accidentally go into Bronya's fight without any of her weaknesses, but it's not a huge deal. The fight takes a little longer, but she still goes down with little trouble. We get saved by the guy who creates Hoyu vs. Gacha Rates, and wake up in Natasha's hospital. After spending some Hertarium, we have enough poles to get our guaranteed 5 star. We get Welt, and his delay should be a nice crutch for us. We complete Simulated Universe second beta for some more pulls, granting us another Sampo. Early five star? But maybe a Lynx. Okay. Well, just getting it right off the bat. It's a new character though. A new ca a new character. Actually, right off the bat means that there's not a bad chance that we get a second four star here. And there we are. Okay, we have a healer. I'm super excited to get Lynx. She's just about the best four star we could have asked for this early. Other than Gallagher, of course. With that huge win, I unlock dailies and food. So I take a stroll around her to space station, collecting all the chests and collecting some mats for this honestly crazy food. The galaxy is vast beyond compare. True, well, so true. Interesting. The galaxy is vast beyond compare. Yes, well, say that one more time for the people in the back. You don't see these every day. The galaxy is vast beyond compare. As Leo like if the galaxy is vast beyond compare. Now that's talent. True. Huh? You don't see these every day. Well figured out. Back to the main story. We speed through everything leading up to the Sparog fight. But after getting Natasha... No. Let's go! I don't know if I will use you, Natasha, but I'm glad to have you. I somehow distract myself and end up doing Simulated Universe World 1 instead. It's 16. <laughs> Clearly I didn't plan this out very well, because I decide on the spot that it would be more interesting if I could only use on-level characters for Simulated Universe, meaning I need to level another team for it. Thankfully, we just picked up Natasha, so I'm not going in without a healer. Most of the world goes pretty smoothly, leading to me really, really underestimating the world boss. Seems pretty good. I just did that on the wrong one. Oh, that was a waste. What am I doing? Okay, yeah, see this is this is the issue right here. Oh, this is kinda scary. I need Natasha to be unfrozen like now. Like literally right now. Okay. This is gonna be the freeze. Okay. Oh ow! Don't hit her to. Oh, don't hit her to... Oh my god! She is so 
low. This is ridiculous. I'm so worried. Hey. Oh, it's over. I'm gonna lose. I'm actually gonna lose! No! Wait, okay. This guy dies. I can't believe that. That was horrible. Oh, that was so horrible. Wow. We just barely make it out without any deaths. Herda actually going down to just 49 HP at one point. If it's this bad right now, how many characters will I lose to Fantilia or Kafka? But that lies in the future. If you watched this far, thank you for watching until the end. I'd like to make this a consistent series, so if you could subscribe or share the video, I would really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching. Bye.